Hello, hello. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Adam. How's it going? Yes, yeah, surprise stream is a surprise. Um, hi, guys. Eugene Myers. Um, yeah, I wasn't really planning to stream tonight. Hi, Jen. Hi, how's it going? Um, so the story here is uh, I've been participating. Lots of you know I've been participating in this uh, homebrew players challenge on Nintendo Age. Um, and this month's game is Lawnmower by Shiru, um, who's produced a lot of other NES homebrew games, um, including Alter Ego, which is probably one of the more uh, well-known ones in the homebrew circle. Um, if you go to his website, um, I'm assuming it's a key, um, you can download like a bunch of games, including Lawnmower, for free. Uh, anyway, today is the deadline to get your entries in, and uh, everyone has, a lot of people have, have already played and they've all completed the game and gotten 100%, and I haven't been able to do that. I haven't had a lot of time to play this month, so the best I could do is Lawn 7 out of 10, like 90%, something like that. So I've got a couple more hours before, or like an hour and like 40 minutes before the um, entries close, and... I have a lot of other stuff I should be doing right now, but I wanted to give it another try, and I figured as long as I'm playing this, I might as well stream it. So hopefully, um, hopefully everything looks and sounds okay. This is kind of a fun game. It's it's pretty simple, um, but it's also challenging in its simplicity, especially if you just get sloppy. So I'm just gonna play for a little bit, and hopefully I can complete the game or at least best better better my score. Um, anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, thanks for popping in last minute. All right, so here we go. So you can, you basically zip around this thing and you have an energy meter that says, you know, how much fuel you have left. If you hold down the A button, you can speed up your lawnmower, but that also makes it, its movements a little bit more erratic. All right, so that one's pretty simple. And then it gets harder because there's like flowers that you can run into and then there's rocks that you run into. Um, so it gets a little bit more complicated. I've played this a few times, um, so I'm, I'm okay on some of these earlier stages, pretty much. Um, it's funny, I was, I was away on a business trip last week. Oh, oh crap, oh, see, and I've screwed up. So that's what happens if you go too fast. So I have to reset because, um, anyway, if you go too fast, um, then you just make mistakes like that. So I'm kind of warming up. But anyway, I was away last weekend um, at a business on a business trip, and I brought a controller, and I was playing on my on an emulator on my PC, and I was having problems with this game. I thought I thought it was kind of buggy, or just uh, not that it was buggy, but just that the controls were not responsive. Turns out I wasn't that responsive, or I think the um, emulator just had a little bit of lag in it, or something. So. I'm playing on a CRT now, and when I switched over to that, and I'm using a wireless controller too, um, it was it was like loads different. So um, my computer may just not be fast enough to really properly um, properly. Oh, oh crap! I keep doing that. Okay, so that's 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 a problem. I'm just sloppy here. Um, uh, you can't pause. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's pretty simple, and there's only ten stages. Um, you know, most people are, say that they don't like actually lawn mowing lawns in real life. So there's actually really no reason for me to be um, speeding through this. I'm just not paying attention because I'm talking, probably. Anyway, it's free. You can get you can download the ROM for free. I'm not sure if there's like a browser version you can play, but oh no, why do I keep doing that? All right, and I I have been playing better than this in the past. I'm not sure what what I'm doing tonight. I'm probably just tired. Because these aren't even the hard stages. Like I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I think I'm just being sloppy here. There's no reason to be zipping through this level. Those fuel canisters, I think, appear um, just at regular intervals. And there doesn't seem to be... You don't seem to burn fuel any more quickly if you hold down the A button to move faster. So... Yeah, so you just kind of have to be 
more methodical, especially when you start dealing with rocks. And then there's a little bit of added complexity in some of the later levels. Um, so here are rocks, and those rocks will mess you up if you if you run over them with your lawnmower. And it makes a horrible sound. I'm hoping you won't hear that sound because I really don't want to run into those rocks. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, that's horrific. Really, really bad. So I just need to be really careful around these things. No! Oh, no. Okay. And just need to be more careful around these things and not speed up like that. There's really no reason to rush through here. There's like enough of a of a delay in the controls. I mean, it's part of the game. It's not that it's bad. It's just um, just the way things are. Yeah. So my goal is to get lawn ten 100% to get full full marks for the uh, for the month and and kind of help boost my score a little bit. And I've been reading some of the people in the some of the comments in the Nintendo Age forum, and people have strategies around, you know, strategically um, mowing down flowers to make it a little bit easier, so that they don't accidentally do it when they're trying to zip across the stage. And there's some value to that, I think. But these are tricky when the the fuel only shows up in certain sections. Like, if you're all the way on the right, and it will only show up on the left. And I kind of I kind of dig the music, and just the sound effects are pretty neat. It's pretty straightforward, but... Not all games have to be really complicated, you know? This is a very good, sort of, arcade-style game. Speaking of which, speaking of arcade-style games, I hear Donkey Kong is now available on the Switch, which is very unexpected. As well as Fortnite. Hey, Jen, have you played Fortnite? Is that is that something that you're into? I know you play a lot of the newer games. You too, you too Adam, because I can now um, play Fortnite. I haven't tried it yet, but I can now play it on my Switch, and it's compatible with PC um, and Xbox. Uh, not PS4, unfortunately, though, which I know is what you game on, Jen. But it would be really fun to get to game with you guys at some point. So I'm hoping I'll have enough time to participate in this challenge this month. I have a really ridiculous writing deadline. Um, so I'm not really expecting to prioritize gaming very much. But my weekly streams are definitely going to continue. So... There's always like, should I head back for this? Okay. Just get this. Great. Not into multiplayer. No, I'm not usually into multiplayer either, um, but it looks interesting. Multi multiplayer, yeah, I don't know. It looked, it looked bearable. Uh, I saw someone playing it, uh, somebody streaming it the other day, and it looked bearable because there weren't too many people involved. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably give it a try, though, and just kind of see, you know, what it's all about. Lawn 6. So I think this is one where the fuel... Oh, I had a strategy for these sections where I would kind of concentrate in only one area to start with. Seems funny to be like, I have a strategy for this very simple game, but there it is. And I think it's just better to get the fuel more often than not and just be really slow around these rocks. Oh, I hate that sound. Really, really hate that sound. I think I just need to go slow. Just don't... Just don't rush it. See, these, the fuel shows up pretty regularly, so you just get sloppy. Like, if there's a straightaway, then go go for it, but otherwise, don't be a hero. Don't be a lawn mowing hero. Get it, get it. Oh my gosh. 
Gotta be careful. Oh wait, where did it go? Where does it, okay, there it is. See, you hear it sometimes spawning and you're like, where is it? Usually it's on the left on this stage. You gotta navigate to it. Oh gosh. Scary. This just gets kind of nerve wracking, honestly. Makes me so nervous. I think I heard that six is the worst stage. Where everybody seemed to agree that it was the worst stage. I just gotta keep going back over here. Oh gosh. No, no, no. This is really annoying. Whew, that was close. I think I can do this. Oh, okay. Lawnmower hero. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, okay. I think there's a PS4 in my future at some point. There are enough games for the PS4 that are PS4 only that I want. I definitely want to play that new Spider-Man game. But I will probably wait until they are cheaper and I have maybe more time. So this level was my downfall last time. I think this is the one where I need to kind of keep limited to a certain section and try to avoid those flowers, which are just going to really kind of ruin your day. Just do this one section at a time. Okay. This is one where it might be strategic to get rid of some of the flowers. Uh oh, where did that arrive? Down here. So if I can get past the stage, then I will be better, have a better score than I, I currently have. So let's just take this slow. Where did it go? Okay. It's hard to know where it's, where it has arrived. Oof. Over here, clearly. have a better score in this stage than I currently have, so. All right, so I have a better score than I currently have. Lawn eight. Oh man, oh man. So I saw you got, you got, you have another kid, Adam, that's awesome. Um, now I understand like not having time to stream and stuff. I will say, you know, I, I understand why you're not doing it, but I do miss watching you stream. Um, I wish we could hang out, you know, in real life at some point. Um, okay, Lawn 8. I miss watching you stream as well, Jen. Mostly, I mean, you want, you play a lot of pretty games, you know. I just, I like getting to see, see my friends more often, even if it's only through a video chat window. Oh, 
this is really a jerk. I've never played this level before. So this is my first time dealing with this nonsense of this like wall of stones. So even though I was kind of complaining a little bit about the controls before, it's actually fairly... Is it over here? Yes. Fairly... Um, it gets fairly intuitive. Like, you get used to the controls and... You know, you kind of know when to press the A button. Oh, come on. Know when to press the A button. Where is it? Is it only on the left? Oh, dear. No! Okay, so, ugh. All right, I'm gonna have to do this all over again. But I do have a better score than I did previously, so that's something. Take it. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, don't apologize, Jen. It's, I, you know, I know how it is. You know, for Adam, you were having so many technical problems with some of the games you wanted to stream. Um, you know, I, I, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be structured. It can just kind of be when you feel like it, you know? I mean, for me, I like having the weekly thing. I actually end up looking forward to it, um, and having it on a set schedule, you know, I'm more likely to do it. And I really think that in, at this stage of my life, I really do want to enforce myself playing games, um, especially when I get really busy like I am now. Um, but, you know, if it feels too much like work, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't do it. Um, ooh, a video game review, Jen. That's exciting. Um, yeah. You know, or you could stream, you could stream just for, you know, you could make it public, or you could just stream. I, I don't know if there's a way to make a private stream, but probably you can somewhere. I don't know. Those technical problems were kind of a bummer. And and the frustration, especially like when when you're looking forward to doing something or you feel like you've disappointed people or... Or, or whatever. I mean, I had technical problems yesterday, last night setting up because uh, something some settings changed on my computer. But I, I don't think I would keep doing this if I was streaming from my PC and I had a more complicated setup. The fact that I just have to plug in a few cables and change a couple, and click a couple of buttons, and and I'm ready to go has has encouraged me to stream more often. And so the retro stuff is fine for that because I just it's very easy to just do it. Yeah, oh, and that's true too. Like your work schedule, I have to reset. So even though um, there's like unlimited continues and they can't really tell if you've continued um, when you get when you take your picture, if you're going to be like honorable honorable about it, you would uh, you would reset and just start over again. So that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, your your time zone presents some different challenges, and you know. You've got the right instinct. No matter what you do, you have to prioritize the work, right? Especially when it's paying work and you need and you need the money. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I would say so. Just just stream anyway. Um, hi Wes. Oh, you have heard of this game? Oh, sorry. You know, I'm not going to stream for very long. And I kind of thought about I didn't want to step on anybody's toes tonight because I know I saw that Nate was was streaming Adventure Island Three, but. I need to play this game anyway. <laughs> I need to play this game anyway. <laughs> I wanted to play this game anyway, and tonight is the deadline to get a high score for this contest I'm in. So, um, or competition, I guess. So I figured I might as well just stream, and anybody who's around, you know, can join in or not. I don't expect a homebrew NES game um, to get a lot of a lot of views on it or whatever. Um, but you know, don't feel like you can't stream or whatever. Like, I think it's, we're just going to end up with more people, you know, since there's so many people streaming on YouTube now, we're just going to end up with people who are streaming at the same time. And I, some people are good at multitasking and, and watching multiple streams at once. And, and, you know, we also can just choose, like, I tend to just choose, like, what game I kind of want to watch. You know, like, some folks are streaming newer games. What just happened? Oh, I ran out of fuel? I wasn't paying attention. But I felt that was very strange. All right, let me restart. Um... You know, I'm not as interested in newer games. I definitely play, want to see the 8 and 16-bit games more often. Nate does stream every day. That's true. Um, 
but it was like Sunday night. Everyone, everyone like literally was streaming. I wasn't, well, not literally. I wasn't streaming, but. Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Yeah, you know, sometimes, Adam, I want to, uh, sometimes I, I, I want to stream and I'm like, if I'm going to play a game anyway, I should stream, but I'm not, I don't always feel like streaming. So, you know, I've been playing a little bit of, of uh, Little Nemo lately. I want to finish that game. And it's actually just easier to play it, you know, in my own time, in my pajamas or whatever, on my TV upstairs or on my little handheld NES. And um, even though that's an opportunity where I could be streaming, yeah, sometimes I actually just want to play on my own, you know. Um, but I do like the interaction. I get, like, hanging out with people. Um... I also like sharing games with people that, that, you know, they maybe haven't heard of before. So, like, Wes has heard of this, but I don't tend to see a lot of people streaming Lawnmower by Shiru on uh, Ye Old YouTube. So, you know, if this can introduce people to more games. I, I've been seeing more people streaming homebrew games, actually, which is great. Um, but... Uh, they don't get as much attention, like, everybody's going to stream, well, lately it seems like everybody's going to stream Contra, Contra, you know, Super C or, or something. And that's fine, too. People like seeing things that they, you know, are familiar with or curious about or enjoy, but... Since I've gotten into homebrew games, I've, I feel this urge to make more people aware of them. Some of these games are just really incredible, and even this this game is really simple, generally. But it's pretty it's pretty fun. It's pretty polished, and it's got a good amount of challenge. Yeah, and streaming does change the way that I play. You're right, Adam. I just don't want, I don't want streaming to feel, you know, or game playing games to feel like work. And I think that, you know, some of the streamers who, I guess, are trying to make, um, maybe a living off of their channels or really develop a good following or, oh no, <sighs> yeah, All right, restart. You know, I have no real ambitions with YouTube. Abzu. Interesting. Oh, yeah, looking for a widget. Or, you know, specks of dust. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube's a lot of work. And the videos that folks like um, Nefarious West are producing are really high quality. Um, and I'm in awe of the time that, that they spend making these things. Um, especially when they're not getting the uh, the larger audience that they should be getting. Uh, I'm glad that they're doing it. I'm glad I, I'm glad you're doing it, Wes. Um, and I want to do more videos. I want to do more gaming videos, but that's because I love gaming and I like making videos. And I feel like things that can integrate. Oof. More. Uh, that was a really poor performance there. Um, so in case you're wondering. I'm like two feet away from my Nintendo, so I can actually just like reset the the NES with my toe, uh, which is actually another good reason to have a front loader instead of a top loader, I guess. Although I guess I probably could press the button on the top loader if I wanted to. Um, but it's very handy. I know like some some speedrunners have uh, like the. They actually come up with like remotes and things that they can use to reset their N N Nintendos while they're playing. Somebody's streaming on Twitch right now. I don't even know who this is. Somebody I followed at some point. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, not, not explore. But you know what? People can choose whether they watch or not, right? Um, I like to listen to your commentary. I like having it in the background. If if too much is going on at at once, it's actually 
not always great. I'm actually, I've, so sometimes I listen at work and if I'm writing, I, you know, then I can't pay that much attention to the screen anyway. And I listen a lot. I watch a lot when I'm um, kind of doing dishes or making lunch for, for my son. So I can't look at the screen that often anyway. I'm mostly listening, checking out the screen when there's something cool going on. Um, but I'm just enjoying the commentary. Um, I really enjoy the Renaissance Renaissance's streams. Um, he, I don't know how effortless it might be, it must be for him, but it feels like a lot more like performance um, than I think I necessarily want my streams to be. I want them to be entertaining. But I think I think it's just na it comes naturally to him. I just find him hilarious to to watch. He was playing Super Mario Brothers two last night, and that was a lot of fun. Um, okay. He's playing a golf game. Wait, he's is he streaming a golf game right now? Is he actually doing an extra stream? Because I thought he was only doing like um, Wednesdays and Saturdays or something like that. Not that anybody needs to be locked into a schedule or anything. I mean, I just stream randomly when I feel like it. So, yeah. You know, that's one of the things I didn't. Um, yeah, sometimes you don't feel like talking much. Um, I didn't want to stream any Metroid because it's mostly me wandering around, not knowing what I'm doing. And people watching who probably do know what I should be doing. So I didn't think that would be too interesting. I streamed Metroid 2, though, because I thought that was a little bit more linear. And I think that went pretty well. I had fun with that one, even though I didn't get any sleep. Um, and also, I think fewer people have either played or watched Metroid 2. So there's a little bit more of a draw to that, maybe. I don't know. Even playing something like Chrys Crystalis, I didn't know how entertaining that would be for people. Or like Blaster Master. I didn't think anybody would want to watch me play Blaster Master. Some games that people know really well. I feel a little bit more self-conscious playing them for the first time. Um, like with intent, because... I don't know. It's uh, probably something I should have played before or should know better. Oh, he's testing his chat. Oh, okay. He's trying to figure out how to get that thing working. Like, mine is working right now. I'm using Streamlabs. But I've only been able to get it to work on my NES streams. I've used the same code on some of my other themes in OBS um, when I stream other systems, and it doesn't always work. And there was one stream where I was pretty sure it wasn't working, and so I did the YouTube pop-out chat uh, method of getting the chat working, and then I noticed later on, I think it was actually the Metroid 2 stream, um, notice later on that the oh, the Streamlabs chat was working underneath it. So, I don't know. I can't figure this stuff out. It's one of the reasons why I don't want to switch to Twitch. Switch to Twitch. Because um, I know how YouTube works, at least, for the most part. And it's very easy. It's just really easy for me. I thought about, sw um, I thought about doing, uh, you know, simul streaming on both and that just seemed like that would add an extra layer of complexity to me and i've thought about st streaming some games on twitch and other games on youtube um but that would require me having to switch that code periodically and that's just too much trouble i basically just want what i have now which is a pretty straightforward setup where you just plug things in and you go it's complicated enough when i have to switch to a different system because i have to like rewire stuff but um I just don't want to have to think about it. If I had to think about it or fuss with a bunch of things, then I just wouldn't do it. Um, this is supposed to be fun, you know. Yeah, I, I sort of know OBS. I, I've customized OBS such that I don't want to mess with it anymore because I'll mess something up and then I won't know how to fix it. I've, like, saved screenshots of my settings so that I can restore them if I need to. And I'm not even sure if those settings would, like, properly work on a... Um, on another computer if I had to switch to a different computer at some point. But I tried to stream from my PC, my laptop, through an emulator where I was going to, and I couldn't get it to work. Um, but that's what messed up my stream last night. Oh no, oh, oh crap. 
That's what messed up my stream last night because the settings got all changed around. Hello, Nicole. How are you? <laughs> Eating dinner while I mow lawns. Nice. Um, thanks for uh, popping in to see what, what was going on. I feel like it, at the very least people are like, Eugene is streaming lawnmower. What is lawnmower? Whoops. So lawnmower, in case you're wondering, because you just uh, showed up, is a homebrew NES game, of course. And it's done by a fellow, I believe a fellow named Shiru, who has done other games, including a game called Alter Ego, which I need to play through at some point. He's got a lot of games on his website, and most of them are free to download. So, you know, go for it. And so I'm playing this on my my EverDrive. And I'm sorry I talk about the EverDrive a lot, but I really do like it. Um, it's just a really handy, handy thing. But I'm pretty sure this would work on, like, the Retron 5, you know, if I patched it in. Um... So I'm playing this uh, just t tonight. This uh, competition I participate in closes for entries. And I have to make sure that I, I end before midnight so that I can upload that high score, that higher score that I got in case I don't actually finish the game tonight. Um, ooh, no flowers. Needs more fuel. So yeah, you lose fuel gradually. You can speed up your lawnmower, but it doesn't burn more fuel, which doesn't seem too intuitive. But I'm happy that that's the case. Um, if you run over flowers, you use more fuel. If you run over a rock like that, you're doomed. Oh, like that. Let me try that again. So that was just that was pure, purely for instructional purposes. Ugh, I'm gonna try that again. Just getting sloppy. So I'm hope, hoping I can wrap this up kind of soonish because I have some other stuff to do tonight. It's also like trash day, so I have to put the trash out. And uh, Although I do not have work tomorrow, so that's something. But I do have work that I need to do for work that still has to get done tomorrow, even though I'm off, which is not so good. But otherwise, I'm hoping I have um, my niece's graduation to attend. And there's like donuts for dads at my son's daycare that I'm really excited about. I have to rush him to school every morning and it'll be really nice to just have a, a more leisurely morning where we can actually like sit and have breakfast together. Um, and then hopefully it'll be a writing day and I might meet up with a friend of mine who's visiting Philadelphia. Hang out with some family, it'll be, be a good day. I hope. Oh, nice. You got Demon Sword. Excellent. So you're going to stream some of the games that you just picked up. Excellent. I will, uh, you know, by all means, like, uh, drop off, drop out when you need to, and I'll, I'll definitely chime in, uh, check it out when I'm done here, because I will then need to be doing all my chores. So. And I definitely want to see you play some Demon Sword. I haven't really had that many pickups lately. Um, if anybody's interested in um, this NES homebrew game called... Oh, crap. Why am I ignoring the fuel that I need? I just got distracted because I was so excited to share this news. Um, this game called Star Versus by uh, Dust Mob Studios um, is available now. Um, it's one of the games that I need for this monthly, monthly competition. Uh, so I just ordered that today. More and more, um, because because I have the EverDrive and the games that I, I still want on the NES are kind of, many of them are more stupid expensive. There's still a bunch of like cheaper ones that I want, but I haven't felt the need to accumulate as many of those. I've been spending more of my money, like when I do spend money on games, on the, on the homebrew games. Um, both because you can't, especially the ones that you can't stream and you can't um, emulate otherwise because the ROMs aren't available. Um, and I really like the idea of just being able to directly benefit the person who created and or produced uh, the game, you know? I mean, a lot of the used games that I buy, Nintendo's never going to see that money. Um, you know, folks at Irem are never going to see that money, although I guess they, they will for um, Holy Diver when that finally arrives. 
So it's kind of neat to be able to support the community that way. And, and a lot of these games are really excellent. But I do sort of need to curtail my spending a little bit. We're going to... Probably going to have a little bit less money in the coming year. Just based off of our plans. But on the other hand, I don't really spend a lot of money except on NES stuff. So maybe it's okay. I don't know. For a minute, I thought I was out of fuel. Okay. Uh, what other games did you get, or should I wait for your for your pickup stream, Net Wes? You know, I also don't really have that many game stores near me. I guess I have some, but whenever I go, I feel like the, the prices are just are too much. Like, I'd rather just kind of, like, look for good deals online or, you know, pick them up at a convention. And I want to support the small games, small game stores, but I also want my money to go farther. <laughs> that makes sense. And some of the games that I'm looking for now are a little bit less common, so you don't really encounter them in stores anyway. Like, when was the last time you saw a copy of Circus Capers? You're going to tell me you saw one today. You're going to tell me that you picked one up today. Oh, you, no, I'm, I don't think I'm going to World Fantasy. Um, I'm really cutting back on the conventions until I have something, you know, to promote. Um, or at least something generating more income <laughs> to justify a trip. Like, I normally go to Dragon Con. I really like Dragon Con. Oh, crap. I need to just focus on this. I like Dragon Con a lot, but I can't justify spending, like, a thousand dollars or more just to fly out there and go to um, and pay for my hotels and stuff and mostly just hang out with people as valuable as it is to really just hang out with people um, I was I wanted to go to too many games which is um, local a local game convention um, but the timing's not great it's um, it's over graduation my wife's graduation um, so that timing isn't good, and I also just have too many, I've got like a big writing deadline, and I don't know if I can justify the time off. And mostly I'll be going to meet some people, but also like buy some games, and so then it just ends up becoming more expensive. I'm not entirely ruling it out, I could still go for like a day maybe, but I'm not sure. Um, so World Fantasy, I like World Fantasy a lot, but that, that gets to be pretty expensive too, just the membership. We, we had a membership one year when it was in, um, was it in Pittsburgh or was it near here? And, uh, we ended up not going. No, it was in Ohio. It was in Columbus and we were going to go because that wasn't too long a drive and we were going to do a family thing. And we were really like crunching the numbers and was like, this is going to be expensive. We should probably not go. And we ended up just kind of eating the cost of the memberships. And I wish I'd known that I could have just donated it to somebody um, instead. I didn't think of that. I was just trying to recoup my losses. And So yeah, no, no real conventions this year. Um, I'll probably be going to a convention next summer. Um, if a publisher wants to send me to a convention, I'm happy to go. And it's bad because I really feel a little bit out of touch with like the SFF communities now. Gradius 3 and Empire Strikes Back and Slipheed. That's interesting. That's an interesting array of games. Cool. Hey, Solid Nate. Sorry I missed your Adventure Island 3 stream again. And sorry to be streaming while you're streaming. But um, just kind of playing through this homebrew game uh, for a competition. And today's the last day that I can... Oh, no. Get my entry in. Oh, I'm really doing poorly here. I'm too distracted, I think. Um, yeah. Dragon Con. Dragon Con's... Dragon Con's a lot, too. I would love to come out to PRGE. 
I really do want to go to uh, more gaming conventions at some point. Um, MAGFest, I would probably try to go to MAGFest again, especially if I can get on programming again. That was a huge amount of fun for me. And it was really nice to blend, you know, two of my passions, like writing and gaming. I went to, have I, have I ever been to PAX? I went to PAX um, East the first two years that it that they had it in Boston. And I enjoyed it. Um, you know, it does, it does end up being a little bit expensive. I went in with some friends. We shared a room. Um, I was less, I was even less into gaming at the time, or at least I wasn't really into, I was into retro gaming and that I've always been into retro gaming, but I wasn't active in any sort of retro gaming community. And I even didn't really, I would say actively play games that much. So it was kind of a limited value, um, for me, and I'm not as into the newer games, although I play some of them. Uh, my friends mostly wanted to play board games, and we decided that instead of going to PAX, um, the money that we would spend going to PAX, we would just spend on board games and, and meet up more cheaply and just hang out and play games, which is what we would have been doing anyway. So, but I did enjoy it. And I'm not like, I enjoy Penny Arcade, but I'm not, I don't even really follow it too often i usually i go through periods usually when or when i go to a pax i'll uh, follow it for a little while you know almost daily and then you know i'll end up in the period where i'm not even really f keeping up with it i have a hard time keeping up with web comics it was easier when i had oh no when i had live journal if you remember live journal because live journal i was able to do like an rss feed of the web comics that i was following and I didn't have to think about it or remember to visit a site. No, not so anymore. Gen Con, I've heard good things about. I should go to that. And yeah, Tabletop Room is cool. I'm also excited. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. You probably are. And I'm just like really backwards. But um, I'm just trying to move some fuzz from my, my microphone. Um, a lot of libraries, I guess, have board games that you can borrow. Like my local library has a, a, a nice collection of games, which we should we should try out at some point. Um, so it's just kind of a neat like resource. They don't have any retro games though. But Magfest was really neat because I got to meet a lot of um, homebrewers. That was really fun. And I got to randomly, randomly ran into, well, I guess it wasn't that random, but I ran into Frank Cifaldi, the um, guy who's involved with the Video Game History Organization, and uh, got to hang out with him for a little bit, and that was fun. He's a nice guy. Screwed that one up. I need to do better here. I need to do better here. Ultimate Chicken Horse. Ah. Hi, Mega Dan. How are you? Did did um did Nate just finish up? I did feel bad starting to stream while he was in the middle of something. Um so if you aren't familiar with this game, obviously it's called Lawnmower. In it, you are a lawnmower. You are mowing a lawn. That's pretty much the gist. Um, avoid the flowers. Avoid the rocks. The rocks are a bad time. Um, just clear the fields. Collect canisters of fuel. You can speed up. And this is designed, this was programmed by a home brewer named Shiro. Shiro who has a website where you can download it for free, along with many other fine amusements. And uh, I'm just trying to clear this game for a monthly homebrew competition that I'm participating in on Nintendo Age. So that's my story. That's why I'm here. And uh, submissions close at midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. So I figured, let me make another run at this. I haven't really had time to play the game much. The farthest I've gotten is stage 8, which I only did once tonight because I am I got distracted or something. I keep talking. That's probably what the problem is. 
I should just be quiet. <laughs> yeah, this game is pretty fun. Okay, see you later, Nicole. We'll see you soon. Yeah, my son did not want to go to sleep, of course. So this is one of those cases where we we're just like, all right, well, you can sleep in our bed. I'm not going to bed yet, though. And then he was upset. He's like, why? Because like, I have stuff to do after you go to sleep, kid. Um, but fortunately, his mom was going to bed, so that was good enough for him. We read a fun book called Bear Wants More about a hibernating bear who wakes up and is hungry and wants to eat all the things. That was fun. And, uh, this is probably the last, the last I'll be able to stream. Well, I guess this may, may not be true. I could potentially stream this weekend, but I should really, I should really be writing, as I say. Um, but I'll stream on Wednesday, and I might stream during the day, just to be wild for a change. Uh oh. Gotta do this. Sometimes I encounter a, a homebrew NES game. Sometimes, you know, maybe something like this one where. It's like, oh, I kind of wish that this was available more widely. Um, like, you probably could adapt this to, like, a mobile game if you really wanted to. And in some ways, it's kind of a shame that it's only available on the NES as a ROM or sometimes only as a cartridge. it's a clever idea. I don't know if there's any other game that's like this. By the way, I was totally outed to my coworkers today. Um, I, I don't hide the fact that I do live streams, that I do like retro gaming stuff. I don't advertise the fact either. And unless people are actually, you know, looking me up online or paying attention or or, or follow me on social media or something, like they they have no reason to ever discover it. But we were um, we were talking to somebody like a candidate for a position, and he had done his due diligence and stalked each of us and so he in the middle of our meeting he just busted out with oh i've seen you unboxing something eugene <laughs> i've seen you opening a box online <laughs> and i'm like and people are like what and i'm like yeah you know unboxing videos it's a thing uh, i was like oh you found that <laughs> so okay <laughs> but you know it's fine Perhaps not the most prudent thing if you're doing, if you're the one who's like interviewing for jobs, maybe to be that accessible. But you know, I don't do it. I don't say anything embarrassing. I guess I maybe I'm sort of embarrassing. But I don't say anything hateful. There's no hate speech here. I hardly even curse. Um, Mega Dan, how much is this game? This game is free. This game is free. Uh, the catch being that uh, it's really only available as a ROM. I don't know if it's been collected on any sort of a cartridge form format. 
Um, and so you can only play it really in an emulator or that flash cart, that multi, that flash cart thing that I talk about a lot that I won't say the name again because you're probably annoyed with me talking about it all the time. Um, but that thing, which is what I'm playing it on now, on my toaster. Oops, oh no, 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 ah, darn it. Yeah, this would be a good free to play mobile game. Hi, Nicole. So your kid just went to bed? Like, just like that? Seems so easy. Oh, yeah, randomized levels. <laughs> I hope so, Nicole. <laughs> I love that, um, like, Luke... I guess they're both, like, uh, kind of getting into gaming and, like, they're really into the costumes and stuff. I think it's just great that you can have these things that you can share with your family and turn them turn these, like, geeky um, activities into just fun projects that you guys do from the crafting perspective and the cosplaying perspective and playing games and watching live streams and talking about things you love like ducktales like you know kids kids are awesome right <laughs> i can guarantee that mowing the lawn in in real life if you r roll over one of those rocks like a boulder essentially as big as your lawnmower that's probably going to be about as much fun as it is in this game I just, I, several other players in this competition have already completed this game with like 100%. And like, are they really just that, that good? Am I really just that bad? Like, I, I think there's a problem where as I get later on, I just need to be really super slow about it. And um, minimize risks and chances for, for screwing up. And I'm just being too hasty and distracted probably. Yeah, that's really cool. Played a little bit of ARMS with my son last week, uh, just the demo, and he seemed to enjoy that, so I'm wondering if I should pick up the, the full game at some point. I also enjoyed uh, Pokemon, what's that thing called? Oh no, shoot. Missed it by that much. Um, Pokken Fighter, Pokken Tournament something or other. He was just pressing buttons randomly though. He's really into the X-Men arcade game though. He can play that for a while. Like he's really finally figuring out like how the directional pad works and that buttons do th different things when you press them. Oh, excellent, Wes. Yeah, I will be there as soon as I'm done here. This is not getting any more interesting, I'm sure, so... Uh... But I can only play until oof, about midnight for various reasons. Mainly related to the score, but also I just need to get other stuff done. Wow, starting with Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. I need to play more Smash Brothers. I've played through, um, I guess, the one on the Wii, 
play through this single player campaign and the one on the Wii U I don't think is as robust like that's that storyline or story mode there wasn't much to it I think so I don't think I've really I'm not even sure if I've unlocked everybody in that game yet or not um, that one just seems like more of a party game kind of thing and then they had the one on the 3ds which I didn't bother with It'll be interesting to see how the uh, Switch controller holds up to Smash Brothers. Oh, no. Alright, so, ah, no. I need to be more careful. Which I'm not doing. You just lose so much control when you speed up like that. So it's kind of like throttling between... Um, like giving yourself a chance to slow down so you have the finer control before you commit to a direction and press the A button for the speed burst. But, you know, I'm only human and, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not really the best player, so... Oh, crap. It's over here somewhere. Alright. I mean, no matter what, I have improved my score. So I'm happy about that. But I really just want to get the maximum score because then I'll get full points. So I need to just make that happen. Plus, I'd like to see the last two stages. The other game both my kids kind of started out with was Nintendo Land. I haven't even tried Nintendo Land. I have it. I haven't tried it at all. I don't know. We got the Wii U, and um, and it was nice. It was a really nice gift from a friend. But I hadn't really been seeking it. I got Mario Maker. I like Mario Maker a lot, but I haven't had time to spend much. I haven't had much time to spend with that. I guess I just get distracted. The one thing I... T oh, no! The one thing I tend to stick to more is just the, these retro games, so... Hello, Renaissance! How's your uh, Streamlabs working? Heard you were playing a golf game and testing out your chat. I hope the chat's working now. Really, really, really enjoyed your stream last night, by the way. That was a lot of fun. I... You are responsible for me, well, I'm responsible for me not getting as much work done last night as I should have and staying up later than I should have, but you are sort of, you must bear some of that responsibility as well because you were just too darned entertaining. Um, and I enjoy watching Super Mario Brothers too. So I could not look away, but I do need to be a little bit more disciplined, I think, about the streams that I'm watching. Um, you know, there's lots of people streaming and I want to hang out with everyone. I need that fuel. But I also need to just, like, walk away from it if it's going to interfere with my work. Okay, screw Streamlabs. What are you using instead of Streamlabs? Because I might, I might, I'd be happy to switch too, because... Streamlabs works on this one on my NES streams, but it won't work on any of my other ones, even though I'm using the same code. Um, yeah, yeah, I hear you, Wes. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I'm not married to Streamlabs. I don't need Streamlabs to, um, generate funds for me or anything like that. Although, and I don't know if I'm actually going to use this, I finally signed up for coffee. Oh crap, what just, what did I do that for? 
or Kofi or whatever you want to call it. It's like that thing where people can kind of basically do a chip chip jar thing for for you if they like you and actually kind of buy you a coffee. Like I actually would just use it for coffee. Um, but I don't know if I'm actually going to roll it out or not. I just decided to like set one up and get my username in there and everything. Chat version 2.0 style generator. That sounds legit. Hi, Allison. Are you cleaning again? What does Luke say boo to, Nicole? Oh, oh, he's saying boo because he's got to go to bed. Okay, see you, see you later. Sorry, Luke. Sleep's very important. Take it from somebody who doesn't get any sleep. I'm, I'm aging at an accelerated rate. Don't be me. <laughs> no, I have not read The Shining. That's true. I mean, I know the character. Um, I saw Ready Player One. I haven't even actually seen the movie properly. I know. I'm bad. It's on my list. It's on my list of things. Oh, no! Ah! That was close. I hate those rocks. All right. These rocks are the bane of my existence. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Give me some fuel, please, 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 please. Oh, gosh. Okay. Stop hitting the rocks. Okay. Uh, interesting. Yes, you are watching me mow a digital lawn. So, for those of you who are just joining us, um, this game is called Lawnmower by Shiru. It's a homebrew NES game. Playing it for a competition. Contest ends at midnight. Trying to finish the game. That is the too long, didn't read version of why I'm playing this game. But it actually is pretty fun. Would be more fun if I was better at it. Like, I think it might look... It might look easier if you're just watching it, but... The controls really are a little bit challenging. <laughs> I enjoy Kubrick's films, but he had a way of making things um, entirely his own. Like, the source material is just very different from what what his film ended up being which is fine perfectly valid oh darn it this is really frustrating okay i just need to do a little bit better here
Well, I should definitely watch The Shining at some point. Gotta be really slow here. All right, cool. See, see you later, Jen. See you later, Wes. Thanks for popping in. I will uh, see you guys again soon, as soon as I'm done with this game. I'll probably play for about another 20 minutes, because um, I want to have enough time to upload my score, whatever it ends up being. And the next month's game for this competition is um, called Mystic Pillars by Sivak, uh, the guy who created um, Battle Kid. And uh, Mystic Pillars is a columns clone, or jewels, or whatever they call it, um, which I haven't really played much of before. And I need to buy the cartridge, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to because it's essentially a... a, a an ES port of a, of a pre-existing game, but I want to continue participating in the contest, so probably I will buy it and just play it here and there. Also, I don't have a lot of time next month to play the game, but I have to think about that. There are 10 levels in this game. I've gotten through eight of them, or two eight of them. Oh, thanks, Wes. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know when I when I show up. Um, oh, um, it's a game called Mystic Pillars. It's a columns like you know, it's a columns clone, essentially falling blocks game, and uh, it's available only on cartridge. Um, you can purchase it from RetroUSB.com. I think it is forty dollars or so. Might be thirty four. Not sure. Um, but I will probably pick it up because I need it for this contest. It's just very different from, you know, Battle Kit, obviously. When did he make that game? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure when he made it. I think... Um, I don't know if it predates Battle Kid or, or not. But they should have the copyright dates on, on uh, Retro USB, which also sells Battle Kid and Battle Kid 2. And I'm not very far in Battle Kid. I've only beaten the first boss, and I think I'm close to the second. I'm in, a, I'm in an area after... Um, there's like a bunch of fans and there's like some disappearing blocks and stuff like that. That's where I am in that game. Really hard. But I only play it off and on. And that's not one that I would I, I, I would stream often. Um, because I would just keep dying over and over and over again and people would have to watch that. And it's also why I won't watch your stream of Battle Kid or anybody else's stream of Battle Kid because I haven't yet progressed far enough that I would want to be, you know, quote, spoiled um, for either the bosses or the or the puzzles because some of them are like sort of puzzle challenges. Um, but yeah, I should I need to play more of that.
I did play a little bit of Castle uh, Castlevania, uh, Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon the other night. That was fun. Got a little bit farther in the game. I thought I was at the end of the game, but then there was uh, there's an extra like three stages at the end. <clears throat> Man, I am tired. I think the nights of getting only a few hours of sleep have finally caught up to me. But most of those reasons were um, because I was stream I was watching streams and also I was trying to work on um, a book proposal. So I had to kind of write a few chapters to kind of pitch this project. And it was fun. Oh no, oh no, I need fuel. I need fuel immediately. I need it right now. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I really don't want to mess up here. I have to, you know what? I need to shut up because I need to listen to that sound effect of that fuel dropping. Sorry, shh. Because when it appears off screen, sometimes I don't hear it. Oh no! Ah, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Whew! Crepes. Uh, I mean, Wes is streaming now, I think, so you can pop over to Nefarious Wes. Um, man. Yeah, the sky area. Sky area. Those fans were awful. I, I was stuck there for the longest time. I thought that was just where the game was going to end for me. Um, okay. See if I can keep going. I think the next stage is a little bit better. Ah, no! Oh, come on! Why did I do that? Oh! I just lost control. I totally lost control. Totally lost my cool on that one. Alright. This is another 10 or 15 minutes or so. Why did I do that? <laughs> is Wes as fun as Renaissance? He has his moments. He's, um... He's pretty fun. I think we have a fun chat as well. Um, he's a little more... No, he's a little less wholesome, I think, than Renaissance, if that's okay to say. <laughs> Certainly less wholesome than I am. Um, not that I'm all that wholesome, really, but, you know. But it's a pretty good time. He's a good, he's really good at these games. Um, so that's entertaining in itself. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you were here, Renaissance, when I was talking about you. Maybe you heard, maybe your ears were burning. Um, but I was talking, I was, t I was saying that I, I find, I found your, your stream is very entertaining. Like, you're very funny. And uh, I think it's, like, completely just natural for you. Like, I, I think it comes across that way. But it also just feels like performance. And it's just inherently, I think, more entertaining than, like, what, what I do. Um... And not every, not many streamers, like, not many streamers, I think, have your, your presence. So, anyway, for whatever that's worth, like, I just enjoyed it. You're just a lot of fun. It's like your reactions and, you know, so I, I listened to your um, Ghost and Goblin, I, follow, I watched your Ghost and Goblin stream, right? Your, um, your uh, One Life or No Death playthrough that you recorded. And I could have sworn 
that you had recorded the gameplay footage and then dubbed in commentary. But then it became really evident that that wasn't the case. You were just like totally off the cuff. Like, like you would probably be terrific at like improv if if you haven't done that before. It's not even really something like that I'm necessarily like envious of. Like I don't feel the need to like m mimic that. Uh, so I think we just have different different approaches like there are different reasons to watch different streamers um but that's one of the reasons why i watch our streams so and i want to see more of your videos for sure i'm glad you're streaming now Oof. <laughs> yeah loving the naked games like you know the games really well too so that's that's definitely coming across Okay, so you've done some improv. Not surprised. Yeah. Good times, good times. Keep it up. Good work. All right, I'm going to try to be quiet now because I, I want to actually want to finish this game. Back to mowing the lawn. Thanks, Renaissance. Thank you. This is the hell level. I get it. I think that the... Uh, I'm going to shut up. I'll talk about that in a minute. Besides which number's wrong.
<sighs> That's a bummer. Really a bummer. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Castle uh Castlemania Games. Ryan, how's it going? So what I was about to say though is I think that one thing I would love for this game is if there was a if there was stereo sound and you could hear uh, which side the fuel was on. But one way or the other, I'm going to be done with this game in about ten minutes because if I don't uh, finish it, then I'm going to run out of time anyway for for to get my entry in. So I'm just going to call it quits but at least I did get a slightly better score than I had earlier. I should be doing like crop circles or something. I don't even know what patterns you're talking about. I'm not really paying attention to like how I'm doing this. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to survive. <sighs> that rock is the worst. Just absolutely the worst. Where do I get these crazy carts? Um, so this is just a ROM, uh, which you can download for free from Shuru's website, um, the creator. And uh, I've, I'm just playing it on my, on my EverDrive. So if you're really, I, I meant to say it the other night, and uh, I know it's, you know, EverDrive's not for everyone, um, but if you're really getting into hacks, uh, video game hacks, and homebrew games, I think you should just get get a an EverDrive. Um, it's like a hundred bucks, but you know that ends up being cheaper in the long run than buying like two or three different um, hacks. And as much work goes into making a repro, or oh crap, what? Whew, that was close. Um, you know that money's one way or the other that money's not going to get to the people who created it i just ran out of fuel 
Yeah, you just use an SD card. Um, there's another one called the Power Pack, uh, which is uses uses Compact Flash, um, and that one's made by the guy who, who is made by Brian Parker, the retro USB guy. You can um, you can buy that one. Um, but as of now, it hasn't really had updates in a long time. Well, some of their updates are done by the community. So it doesn't support a bunch of mappers. Um, the EverDrive just got a pretty massive update, um, which is still in beta, I think. So I haven't installed it because it's, it's in beta and there's some stuff in it that's not working right that I'm, I'm going to wait till they iron that out before I before I implement it. But um, that one has like pretty much greater compatibility now. And um, one thing that these carts can do, uh, especially the EverDrive, um, is you can actually do save states on a game, which, you know, as a purist, I'm sure you wouldn't, you would never do. But if you were like speed running or practicing a game, practicing a hard game, uh, being able to play like the later stages uh, repeatedly without having to repeat the early ones. Pretty beneficial, I think. And you, Ren, you have the um, Merch USB AVS, so this is this doesn't matter to you, but you can play a lot of uh, Famicom games on the EverDrive, and um, some of them have expansion audio, and there's actually a little plug-in device that you can get that plugs into that, that little unused unused port uh, on the bottom of your fl uh, front loader Nintendo, and uh, that does a pretty good job of enabling Famicom expanded audio, not on all games, but um, otherwise, the, the games just don't sound right. I honestly don't know how I run out of fuel when that happens, because I thought I was paying attention, but clearly it sort of sneaks up on me sometimes. Alright. I have the feeling that if I don't progress past stage uh, area 6 this time around, that I'm pr just not going to do this tonight, because I need the time to clear these late levels. So I need to be really slow, especially the ones where you have to just, like, quickly slow, you have to s quickly slow down, you have to slow down. Um, so, we'll see, this might might be my last attempt, depending on where I end up on the time. So. Yeah, I think the I think the overdrive is great just for all the hacks. Um, and the homebrews. Because there are a fair number of homebrews that are available just as downloads. just so I have a shortcut if I need it. I think I'm good. Yeesh. But yeah, I've got Super Mario Brothers 3 mix on here. I haven't played it yet, um, much of it yet, but I can absolutely stream that.
This one really just stresses me out so much. hate this. There's something broken about this level. I think I saw somebody saying that it was... Like this... Is this intentional? Is this really intentional? Because this is... This is maddening. Like... One out of... Like nine out of ten of these things are spawning all the way on the left. Oh no! Oh, oh crap. Alright. Super Mario Brothers 3 Mix is a uh, ROM hack that kind of pulls in pieces, uh, elements from, or assets from every Mario game. Uh, so, like, including um, Super Mario Brothers 2, uh, Super Mario World, a bunch of things like that. Um, it's, it's, it's almost like a, a game that was, it's, it's running on the Super Mario Brothers 3 engine. Do I have enough time to play, play it through? I don't know. Um, but it seems like a, like a really original game overall. Like some of it, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but it's like an entirely different game, gameplay experience. Um, if you want to see, uh, some of it in action, uh, JLev81 streamed a bit of it. A little while ago, and um, Mega Dan Twenty Nine streamed a little bit of it too. Um, I think he finished it. Yeah, and I could absolutely play that on on my EverDrive. Um, if you're still hanging out when I'm done with this, um, if I don't make it on this go, I'm just gonna call it because I have to. Actually, I probably need it. I probably need to actually just like upload that that picture with my higher score anyway, because I'm not gonna make it. I don't think. I'll give it I'll give it like five minutes, I guess. I don't think I can finish this in five minutes. But I need to be able to upload my score. Alright. I think I'm just gonna call it because I, I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna do this tonight. So I'm just gonna upload my new um my new picture instead and just uh, take a wash on this one. I've wasted I haven't wasted a couple hours because I've had fun hanging out with you guys. Uh but yeah, let me I'll show you I'll show you the EverDrive if you haven't seen it. So, um, I usually kind of obscure this for some reason. I don't know why. So, uh, so here, this is, I'm running, this is the, uh, EverDrive pack that, uh, Smoke Monster put together. This he sort of like went in, organized a file structure and pulled in most of the ROMs that are really, um, he basically got as many ROMs as he could and kind of organized them all. He no longer just those. These are usually no longer distributed um, in this pack, but he is distributing the metadata. And so, if you have the ROMs anyway on your system, you can load them in to this existing file structure. So yeah, this is fantastic. So here, so you've got here's Homebrew. Got a ton of games in here. Um, you know. Um, and then under hacks, so I usually have a, a folder called selections, which is where I have the games that I actually really want to play um, mostly. Um, some of these are games that they identified as really good, and some of them are ones that I know I want to play. So here's Super Mario Brothers 
three mix. Where is that? See, there's a lot of homebrew of um, hacks in here. Just three mix. So you can just run that. So you can look at this menu. Um, if you do start, well, no, that's. So if you do start, then you just you restart the last game that you were playing. Um, if you hit the select thing, then you get options. And so you can do file sorting, reset the game, save states on or off. You can set a shortcut for that as well. You can do uh, Game Genie cheats in here as well. Um, but, and the reason you would do select only is because you would want to enter in a Game Genie code and then start the game. So. Choo Choo Rocket. <laughs> Do this with an SD card for your DS Lite. Yeah, I've got one of those too. The um, the I don't really like running ROMs on the DS Lite because the aspect ratio is a little bit messed up. Um, I usually use uh, uh, Emu Paradise. They seem to have a pretty good collection of them. But so this is Super Mario Bros. 3 Mix. I'll just play for a second. This overworld music is, is intensely annoying because it just kind of keeps repeating. <laughs> so this is a remake of um, the first level of Super Mario Village, right? That's kind of what they're going for, though. So some of it's like recreating levels from... Whoops. From other Mario games, but then they get really, really into some very different ones. Like, original levels, rather. So you can see they've, like, modified the um, the mechanics a little bit. Like, Mario was not flipping when he had the, the star like he does in Super Mario Bros. 3. So it's a little bit different. Whoops. Oh. I don't know what I was doing there. I also just realized that now this Mario, this music means that like Nintendo is going to claim claim my uh, copyright on this. Um, so you can do a short reset to get back to the game that you were just playing, or you can do a long reset and it gets you back to the menu. Um, bug issues tonight? Oh, huh, that's for Allison. Yeah, no, this is great. So actually, um, do I have? Castlevania, The Holy Relics. I streamed a little bit of that recently, not too long ago. Um, let me see if I have... Here's, here's a bunch of games. This is just a bunch of things. So you can also play uh, games that were, you know, were not released here. So there's like Bioforce Ape. Uh, so you can run um, things like that. Kokoron, that's you know Famicom game, of course. Demon Swords here. Some of these are games that I did not previously own that I ended up wanting to get at some point. Felix the Cat Bright. There's like somebody did a ROM uh, hack to Felix the Cat that makes the picture more vivid than it is on the actual NES cart. So it's kind of neat. I uh, I get a lot of a lot of joy out of this. Um, it was a good, you know, I had kind of gotten to the point where I was thinking about picking up some of those multi-carts, but those are really actually not good for original consoles. So I decided to just kind of, um, jump for this. Cause also like, I'm never going to be able to buy little Samson. I'm not going to pay like $1,300 for that cartridge. So if I want to play it on my NES, I have to get a multi-cart or I have to get like an EverDrive and then I'll be able to play it. So um, if you are not in a hurry, Renaissance, if you wait until Black Friday, there's usually like a 20% off discount. Uh, if you order it from Cricks.com, he's the guy who makes it. So anyway, I need to I need to bug out now because um, I have to upload my, um, my score to Nintendo H. So thanks for hanging out. Sorry I couldn't finish the game, but I appreciate the, the company while I attempted it. And uh, I may not see you this weekend. Uh, you might, I might see you this weekend. I'll see you on your stream, Renaissance. Um, but otherwise, I'll be look for me on Wednesday. Um, so Cricks.com, K-R-I-K-Z-Z.com. But you can also order it from StoneAgeGamer.com. Uh, but they don't usually do that Black Sunday, a uh, Black Sunday, Black uh, Friday sale. So if you want to get it from Cricks, then that's the place to go. 
Um, but yeah, I'm happy to answer any questions on it if you like anytime. Um, anyway, I will catch you guys later on. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.